Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today what we have is yet another news video so there are a total of four products the picture that I will show you guys first and of course as always um, the products that I'll be showing you guys we, all of you would definitely will be very excited because I, I am actually very excited to show you guys so yeah without further ado now let's um, get into the video and start with our very first product so of course the, our very first product right here in front of us is the sand rock by supernova um, they call this um, sand rock supernova kai which they custom it so yeah in front i still haven't gotten the supernova sand rock but i've seen other reviews on the youtube and even on the internet they say uh, there are some parts that are not bad and when there is the first part they actually like get feedback from the customers and then after that they re-release the second issue they actually did amend uh, the parts like soft they adjust the neck issues and then they say the transparent part on the beam saber you know I don't know what you call that his the sand rock main weapon I, I would just say maybe the glyph glyph saber or whatever but yeah, they actually um, did that. So yeah, now they issued yet another one. It's called the Sand Rock Kai. And just when uh, Supernova announced this, uh, then the Bandai actually announced their premium Bandai version of the Sand Rock, which included the cape. So yeah, as you guys can see now, the other photo is showing the back of it. Again, it looks really cool. The, the weapon is really, really long. And of course, the next one there, we can see it on the base. As usual now, I think most China uh, China companies that are making model kits, like Tapa, Dragon Momoko, Extra Extra, like then now you have new brands coming in like Supernova. Then you have see yeah, the base. Uh, there's actually, there's this company that's making base for like sort of say metal build version. So yeah, now I think uh, for all this China, China company that's coming in, that is releasing the master grade level that should include a base for you already so yeah i think that's good to see because lots of gunpla with base actually looks much better anyway we move on to the final photo here it's with the cape here you guys can see the cape actually is not too bad looks really great as well um i don't know what the material would be so yeah we just got to wait and see once I get the hand on this product so yeah now this one is done we move on to our very next product news that's coming in around that was announced in almost the end of July and beginning of August so yeah sorry for the very weird transition uh, as I was editing the video then I found out about uh, this picture that I saved I thought I did not did it so yeah here you can take a look at the base the left one is of course the first the Nataku which is of course as well is a premium bandai but uh, supernova released this and the one on the right is of course the new one is sand rock kai so yeah here uh, you can sort of see the base the, the base that i was talking about in my in the previous um, section of the sand rock kai that i was talking about so yeah here's the preview of it so yep without further ado now let's totally move on to the next brand that i'll i'm very really exciting to show so here it is of course the much awaited the avalanche axia dash i don't know why, why is it called that but it's avalanche axia um bandai did have this product but it is only in the non-grade one to 100 and fortunately enough i have that and i still haven't built so yeah i think once i finish my freedom the strike freedom metal build by tapan i'll make the bandai one then i'll continue with my other backlog but of course um this news came in like um i think just few days ago and then they said that uh, the moment they announced and check there's uh, this supplier that I saw on Facebook say that uh, the stocks will be starting to distribute in a week's time so yeah this time around uh, Dragon Momoko did not waste any time they straight they just straight away show us the products and they straight away just um, say okay we'll be distributing the products right now so you guys do, don't have to wait like what happened I think was the perfect great unicorn that that happened because there was delay they need to wait so long even after the product announcement 
But as of right now, there's just straight away announce it, and then they will be distributing it. So that's good to see. So yeah, as I I, I mumble too much anyway. In front here, you can see of course the box art that is released, and it looks massive. I wonder will it be as big as the Destiny box and the Strike Freedom box? Uh, I'm really curious about that. But yeah, now let's move on to another section, which is the parts. They say there are total of 55 runners. I'm not kidding, 55 runners. And uh, here's a picture of it. So yeah, as always, I just like I mentioned just now, you guys can see the what is it called? That the base that it comes with, of course. Again, it's the traditional white color metal build because they are following the Bandai version uh, Axia Avalanche. So yeah, again here you can see the parts here. So yeah, I'm actually really curious whether the parts there would they include like the shiny silver as shown in the promo box. I'm actually curious about that. If they include it, then that's good. But if not, then yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. But still, yeah, hopefully they do it because they sort of did it in the Testament Gundam. So yeah, anyway, now let's move on another part here. You can see this time, the first batch of promo that uh, you pre-order, you will get uh, LED units. So that's good to see. This is the manual of it. And then now the very next part, we have the completed upper body for the Axia Avalanche. And I tell you, it looks incredible. I, can't, I really can't wait to build it and get my hands onto it. And then next year, we have the light up Axia with, with the LED inside. I mean, it looks, not to say very bright, but it still gets the job done. So yeah, anyway, now and then we move on to the very next picture here. So this part here, we can see the completed Axia Avalanche with its full armor of it. And it looks really bulky. And it's ready to go for war and ready to slash some GN flex or go and kill rebonds or whatever. And yeah, I mean, it just looks really good, but really not sure the build would be how of it. I mean, we know how Jago Momoko products sometimes um, disappoint in terms of the build, the process. But yeah, let's not um, talk about that till we get our hands on it. Then next year, we can look at the back of the XR Avalanche. This part, they removed the armor already, so yeah, it just looks the normal, which is the top part, which is fully armored. So yeah, again, looks great. And then next part. So this part over here is his signature pose. Uh, you can see the hand, you can suddenly see is in silver color. So yeah, let's hope that it is in that way. And then, uh, and get back to the pose part. This pose is the signature pose as well as the box art for the Bandai version of it. So yeah, as you guys can see, it can post that way. So let's hope that it does um, be able to post it that way, I hope. And then the next part here, you can see the, his, the Axia is holding his signature very first weapon, which is the GN sword. So yeah, there's two of it. One long and the other one is short. And then there's the other one. Then the next photo here, the weapon, I don't know what is it called. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, the what's that called? Double Quanta have it. I mean that 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 will be the expansion part. I mean for the sort of like when RG of it. I did not actually see it in the anime or whatever. So yeah, this maybe is the expansion unit. And then next year, you guys can see it's on the base. Like I mentioned, they do come with the base. So yeah, it, again, it looks great. It is base. I mean, you can always, once you're done um, building the kit, you can always say, hey, I've already got the metal build version of it. So yeah, here is how it looks like. And it looks great. I mean, no one will actually judge unless um, you have like your little cousin or whatever come and go ravage everything like sort of earthquake happen. So yeah, aside from that, you can just say, oh, this is the metal build version of it. Yeah, so now we move on to our very final photo for this Dragon Momoko Axia Avalanche, which is the part, the time when I say that it without the weapons on the legs, this is the upper body part with the armor of it. So yeah, guys can see basically all the weapons will be mounted towards his back shoulder. So let's let's pray that um, there won't have any um, back heavy issues. So yep, that's it. Dragon Momoko brand announcement ends here 
we'll next look at our very next brand. So our very next brand of course is Stapan itself. As you guys can see um at the at the very top there it says Tapan eight eight zero eight. I think that's the number of model that they released. MG one two hundred metal build Mo Xing Neng Tian Shi R2 R3 uh means it says uh this Axia there is uh the the very first left is the normal Axia and then you have the R3 version of the Axia and then R2 version Axia and of course finally you can combine everything into the Avalanche Axia so I really don't know anything about this yet because this the only thing that it comes that is that was announced I would say so yeah there's still not much news compared to Dragon Momoko because Dragon Momoko literally just out of nowhere just shit everything out and then just expect us to accept the excitement so yeah, Tapan, this type sort of like that he chilled and he just um, teased a little bit, doesn't really show much, which kind of sad because if you want me to choose Tapan or Dragon Momoko, usually Tapan is a little bit uh, more expensive but they give you much more stuff. So yeah, but nonetheless, I've already paid deposit for the pre-order on the Dragon Momoko Avalanche Axia. So we just got to see uh, what um, this Tapan Avalanche Axia can bring to us, then I'll decide whether I will get it as well. Then, yeah, and, and as always, I'll do a comparison if I can and I have the time. But, yeah, hopefully, um, Tapan doesn't take too long to announce its uh, completed product because I'm also actually really exciting. Because as of right now, I'm building, I'm almost halfway done on the Strike Freedom Metal build, and it's been quite an enjoyable process. There is a little bit of hiccup which I will mention in my next video of the review. So yeah, I mean, it, it is a really enjoyable process for Tapan. So yeah, I mean, let's get back to this. And then the next picture that was showed on the internet that I managed to find, which is this part here, the weapon parts of it. They only like show a couple of runners, but I think these runners will show a little bit of more context. So yeah, that's it. Um, only two pictures from Tapan. So yeah, this time around, Dragon Momoko actually um, did a faster promo than Tapan. When last time, they actually lost, sort of lost to Tapan in terms of the Strike Freedom Metal Build version announcement. But yeah, again, um, still this time, uh, I would be really curious to see how this Tapan um, Axia Avalanche do to see like, what is this talking about like R2, R3 and then the normal Axia and then you have Avalanche Axia how, how is this going to keep capable of? are we supposed to buy like what like 4 parts if we want to display normal Axia and then the R2 Axia, R3 Axia extra extra so yeah um, really I'm really excited to see as well and then uh, the final thing that Tapan actually announced very early months ago uh, I think in, either in June or July which is the Hainu Gundam Vorka uh, I'm sorry, I did not get any picture of that. Uh, I was uh, totally forgotten about. I totally forgotten about it. But yeah, it's already um, released. Already, the market is already out for it. So yeah, if you guys want, you guys can go and grab it yourself. To me, I saw the picture for the Hainu. Um, there is a uh, even in the picture that they uh preview for us to see. I noticed a couple of stretch marks. So that's actually kind of funny. But nonetheless, of course, if you can't afford like. What, what should I say? Um, in my country, the Haino is close to 300 ringgit, if I'm not mistaken, or even more, or 300 ringgit to 320 ringgit. I, I think it's around there the price. It's crazy amount of money. So, yeah, if you can't afford that, then of course I recommend you guys to get the Tapan version, which I will, of course. And yeah, uh, and by the way, before I end this video, the I would say the price for the Metal build version Avalanche XCR for Dragon Momoko it's 130 ringgit for in my country, which is equivalent to the price that I paid for the non grade 1 to 100 Metal build version. I mean, non grade 1 to 100 Bandai Avalanche XCR. Yeah, it's the same price. So, definitely, if you guys still haven't get yourself an Avalanche XCR, I would recommend that. But of course, if you guys can support original Bandai, Please go and support orig original Bandai because without Bandai, there will be no Dragon Momoko, there will be no Tapan, 
and there will be no supernova there will be no whatever brand that is coming out to compete so yeah support original like how i'm supporting bandai by buying all the build fighters buster grade i mean i already have four but uh, i plan to complete the whole master grade the collection once i start to work which is very soon anyway i'm running off topic um that's the end for today's um news july august news i would say this is my third um, episode 3 news so yeah i really hope you guys um enjoy like this sort of i would say mini series i wouldn't not sure what you call it but yeah i mean i'm always very excited to show some of you guys who maybe do not unaware of what's coming out in the um gunpla world so yeah i mean this of course bootleg i do not cover bandai news because bandai news are always everywhere so yeah that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you guys have enjoyed please do not forget to drop a like down below share it to your friends or whoever that may concern that might like my video and yeah there will be more video coming out very soon so make sure to subscribe down below and when you're there do not forget to drop a like down below your likes are very much appreciated and yeah i'll see you guys very soon and i hope you guys have a very very good day